Hurricane Harbor, I always suggest putting all your stuff in your bags. Then that way when you go through the metal detector and everything, you only got the one bag. And then when you go through, once you go through the metal detectors, then you can take everything out. So put your cell phones in there, keys, everything in a bag. Make it easy for everybody, nice and easy. They got a couple of additions this year. So we're gonna see what the additions are. Um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is look for a locker. So let me see if I can find a locker around here. So when you walk in, if you go straight past the funnel cake place, there's like this little quesadilla food truck thing. That's where the lockers are. Get yourself a locker for like the whole day. Then that way you can put stuff in there. They have these scan codes right here. And then you get a green light to unlock it. So, so that's the standard size locker right there. Goes back there pretty good. So you can get like a book bag in there and some other stuff. All right, so we're at the Wave Pool now. Uh, first thing I would say, this is a good place to hang out because you can just walk straight in. It's nice and big and everything. Um, the one thing is, as far as the chair situation, I would say get here early, grab yourself a chair because people like will squad up with the chairs and everything. So if you don't get a chair early, I don't know, they do have these cabana things that are available. There's spots over near the stock. You can get yourself a big towel and, you know, sit on the grass or something. Yeah, here we go. Now over here, this is a cabana area. This is called the Blue Lagoon. So you've got cabana cold rental area. Which is cool because you got all these nice seats over here and everything, cushions and everything. You don't gotta worry about sitting down. It's all like privately sectioned off. So that makes it a nice thing. Got this nice little waterfall thing right here. I don't know how much the cabana things are. I'm not sure like how many people, how that works if it's like, you know, you pay for the cabana and you get multiple people or you pay for the cabana for each person. Uh, yeah, so here's the rentals right here. Um, so they got the rentals, day beds, chairs, cabanas. Yeah, so they got the different options there. If you just want to get a chair, it's going to be 45. So come with a crew and then, you know, you can split the cost. Here's another one of the places to eat here. Chicken wings, chicken strips, uh, salad, nachos with cheese. This actually looks like a little bit better than the other place. They got some pizza. So they got all kinds of stuff here. They got the Lazy, Lazy River right there. And that kind of goes around. Now you can uh, rent inner tubes to go through the Lazy River and everything. This is the, um, like the kid play area right here. So they got all kinds of kids activities. You know, they got the dump buckets. They fill up with water and then they dump the water down. So this is like the family area right here. This is nice and cool. Two feet, they got the little sprinkle things that come up from the ground. So one thing I will say is there's a lot of different options to cool off real quick here. So if you got the, the, the smaller, younger ones, come over here. Lots of options to keep an eye on them. Everything situated in the same area. I guess that bell means it's about to dump some water. Let me see, one, two, three, four. There goes the water right there. Everybody was underneath the water getting dumped on. So 
one, two. It's like about five water slides. They have this area over here to sit in the grass or sand this dirt thing. Anyway, you got a chip area over there. If you have a blanket or something, you can put that over there too. They got these totems to spray out a little water. Oh, they're doing pop-ups today. I know I should have grabbed my one wheel. Oh well. And here's the front end of it right here. So see, it's a nice little family activity area for the younger and the young at heart. It's a little bit more civil over in this area. And then they got Discover Bay over here. I think that's Discover Bay. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's the Discover Bay right there. So that's the Discover Bay right there with all the kids stuff and everything. They got plenty of life jackets around the park. So then they got this right here. Now this one looks pretty cool. You got they got these water slides right here, and they're kind of cool. Look at this. So they got four different ones right there. Just goes down, does a couple turns, and then come out. Looks like you got a two-seater. That's nice. And that's the entrance to the uh, Take It Easy Creek, Lazy River, whatever you want to call it. Man, they do have rental, um, what are them things called? That you float on. You can't bring it on, but you can rent some from them. Because uh, it doesn't seem like they have a lot. So you can rent one for the day and then float in it and everything. And here you go. Here's a good, good shot of it here. And see, you got the rental ones right there. So you can rent a different one. And it's putting out the water on the side. It's not a bad one. All right. Wraps it around back over to this side. Yeah. Now I want to go over to where the new section is. Give me a look at the new section. I was kind of curious about the new section myself. All right, so this is the main entrance right here. When you come, you that's like the main sign right there. Everything. You got the island traders. And here's the float tank. So you can rent a tube all day. Ten dollars for the, the whole day to get yourself a tube. So if you're gonna do the lazy river, I would probably just say rent yourself a tube. You know, maybe one, two, depending on how many people in your party. Get yourself one of those and then just share it out with the, with the people you're with. And it makes it easy. Because waiting for one to come floating by, forget about it. I don't know if that's by design or whatever. There's Mr. Sharky right there. Mr. Sharky. So you come in. If you keep going straight, where it says restrooms, there to the right a little bit, and that's where the lockers are. You'll see a, a blue truck right there, that's the quesadilla truck. 
Next to the quesadilla truck, and the lockers, the women's changing area, the restrooms. I don't know, I think the, yeah, the men's changing area is right around the corner there. So this is kind of like the main thing. You know, Paradise Grill is right there. Right next to Polly's Pub right there. Polly, it's Polly's Pub. Polly, Polly's Pub right there. So then, you got this section over here. Now I believe this is the new part right here, Splash Island. So, Splash Island is the new part. Get a nice little... I thought that was a fake bird. That's a real bird right there. Look at that. So this is part of the Lazy River. It pretty much encompasses the whole area. Goes around. So you got sides over that way. And everything, but you can see the rentals right there. But this is Splash Island. So I think Splash Island is more geared towards the kids. I think. I'm not sure what it is, but take a look around. Look at uh, Splash Island here. So they got some cabanas over here. They got a little miniature. I went on a big one. But hey, look at that, that's kind of nice. Couple of the cabanas. Yeah, yeah, so I would say this is like the tween one. We're gonna go home and get lunch. But this is nice. It's got the bright colors and everything. If you just want to get your feet wet, yeah. plenty of places to get your feet wet around here. Yeah. You got a couple of chairs, you got your cabanas, and everything over this area. So all this is new. Now I'm over here at Hurricane Mountain, and Hurricane Mountains, these couple of rides right here, water rides. I was also saying that it's clearly marked what the height is for the rides, but you can't really see if it's a one person, two person, you know, for a different rides. Some of them you can definitely tell if it's one or two. Like this one right here, that looks like I might, I might have to get on that real quick. Doesn't look like there's a line, but you can't really tell for the lines because the line is actually all the way up there. These are all your main water slides. Try to get here as early as possible, earlier than you think you need to get here. If you're looking for a place to sit, you're looking for a place to squat up, get your rentals, get your rides in, get here early. If it rains, the park does not close. If there is thunder and lightning, the park will close. And this is the wave pool right here. A nice big wave pool. I know, I think it's like every 15 minutes or something like that. You'll hear this bell go, and then they have the wave, big waves, like there's a general wave that happens, and then the bell goes, you get the big wave. So when you hear that bell, you know, hold on, because it's a nice little wave. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.